Hey everyone, Brian Smith here from Performance Tennis. Today we're gonna to talk about the net play after we approach. And this is a common problem a lot of players have is they don't know exactly where they should be going at the net after their approach shot. As you can see, I got two cones here and these are gonna represent where we go depending on our approach shot. Stay tuned and I'll show you exactly where you should go on your approach. All right guys, welcome back. After we hit the approach shot, where we go up the net really determines whether or not we're gonna be successful playing at the net. And what we're gonna talk about today is our court position up at the net after the approach shot and how we should shade dependent upon where we hit our approach shots, okay? I got two cones to, to represent each side of the court. And most of the time, players are approaching down the line by percentages, it's probably your highest probability of success. So for instance, if I hit an approach shot down the line, I wanna shade to this side of the court or the same side of the court the ball is on. Now, dependent upon how tall I am, how solid of a baller you are, will determine how much we shade, okay? If you have a person that's relatively short, or they don't have a long wingspan, they might have to shade a little bit farther over so they make sure this ball does not come down their line. Now, for instance, for me, I'm relatively tall, I have long arms, I will shade a little bit more here because I can easily cover the line as well as be able to cover most of the cross-court passing shot. What you wanna to try to force them to do is change direction of the ball to pass you. So on a down the line approach, cover that down the line ball, make them hit the sharp angle cross court to pass you. Now, if for whatever reason you decide you're going to hit in a cross court approach shot, so for instance, you hit the approach shot from here, you hit it cross court, you have to get all the way over again to the same side of the court that the ball is on. A lot of players will end up moving straight to the middle. And what this allows them to do is have an easy passing shot straight down the line. And this can be very discouraging when we're coming up the net. And a lot of times we'll end up staying back and forgetting about those opportunities. And at that point, it becomes very easily a one dimensional player. All right, guys, when you guys are coming to the net, remember to shade to the side that your approach shot went and make sure you cover your line first and foremost. Take this tip, go practice, and become a much better net player, guys. Thanks a lot for watching.